Nigga, where your block ass? Stop that sneak this and leave a nigga out back. Cock back, nigga tweaking with me. Day is not that. I'm back rolling niggas up. I need a five pack. All facts, these niggas rats where the cops at. Bitch, bad. She is in the low where you drop at. Niggas fast, gon' let them know their favorite op back. Smoking lead away, new op pack. I'm a time turn a homicide, niggas mama crying. I'm a time fuck a nigga mind, make him bump a grind. Game with me, niggas gon' ride horse, I'm a man. Fuck around, get fucked around, tryna fuck a man. Forever legend, boy, we on the rise, I'm a brother shine. Big slime, we the hit it, rock a leash a couple times. Always do it for my people. Hey, you already know it's your boy Hypno Carlito. I got Forever Legend with me. We at What's Poppin' Podcast, nigga. You already know. Shout out OG Pop. This shit lit, nigga. You already know what the fuck going on. What's here? Gang shit. You know what's going on, man. Look out for the new project we got working on, man. More than the chain, man. Uh -huh. You know, Forever Legend, we on some big shit, man. Y'all know what's going on, gang. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. That's man. It's Kobe, man. Y'all already know. More than the chain dropping, man. Y'all already know. Hey, hey, know project the project y'all already know. Hey, hey, know the fuck hey, going hey. on. I'm so grand, man. You know the fuck going on. More than the chain, man. The smoke, it don't matter. We offer you more than a chain in this game. What's poppin', y'all? It's your boy OG Pop with a whole new season of What's Poppin' Podcast. Today I got the very own legendary label out of Chicago, Forever Legend, along with Hypno Carlito, Barlito, yes. as, as, as they call him. You know, as he call, claim himself. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yes, uh, you know, we all about awareness, empowerment, education, and culture. We try to sauce it up, not only with, uh, you know, some of the dopest people, but also with some of the people who are, you know, more than dope and actually do a lot for the city. Uh, hey, no, I've known you a minute. I'm sure a lot of people in Chicago have known you a minute. But you do do a lot for the city. You create opportunities now. Um, Forever Legend has done quite a bit. You know, feed the, you fed the land. Uh, you've given uh, people directing uh, opportunities. You've given um, producers opportunities. And now they got like 10 plaques. Yeah, shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel, number one? Um, well, number one, tell the people where you're from, yeah? Shit, Chicago. Chicago. Chicago, where's that? Uh, yeah, so how does it feel, man? Uh, we gonna go to uh, let the people uh, know where you came from. I do want to touch on how you got in the industry and stuff like that. But how does it feel to come from where you did come from? to be able to create all the opportunities for people now here. Uh, and maybe not even be looked at just as a rapper. Yeah. No, I mean, it feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it feel good to be able to just contribute um, to the culture of Chicago. Um, I just, I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, I look at it more so as normal. This is something I would have did without any fame, without any clout, without, I was always into that type of um, vibe. That was just who I was. I always wanted to help those around me. So when it get to another level and it get to another platform where I can help people that had them same dreams that I had, yeah, it definitely feel good, especially watching people flourish and become who they are. You know what I'm saying? So, hell yeah. I want to get maybe, because I, I, I salute to everybody. I see we got Coca in the building, yeah, we got D Mob, that's on 100. Say, uh, uh, Fake Mode has slid his ass on me. We got Fake Mode in this motherfucker. <laughs> we got Marv in this marvelous in this motherfucker. Yeah, right. But salute to everybody. Uh, him, I think a lot of people want to say and have said, I mean, I know you a minute, or uh, the guys probably attest to this. Sometimes you be like, oh, he got on because of Dirk now. You know what I'm saying? Am I, am I, am I lying, guys? Uh, some people might look at it like yeah, that. Yeah. But the reality of the fact is that I know the truth because I've, I've, I've known you for a minute. Yeah. And will you tell the people who are listening that um, and how does it feel to get it out the mud or uh, not rely on Dirk's help uh, to put his money up for you and you to be able to put other people on, create your own brand uh, and just take his opportunity as a stepping stone yeah. to move forward. <clears throat> No, that's, that's what it is. That's what it should be for everybody, for every artist. Um, you're going to always remain who you are and with who you with. You know what I'm saying? But everything is a stepping stone. <clears throat> that's just like for them. As artists, I do want them to be successful and I want them to win. And I want them to win under my label. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm creating bigger artists and I'm creating uh, bigger talent. But everything always become a stepping stone. You know what I'm saying? One day, 
they going to flourish and they going to have artists and they going to have producers. And <clears throat> so that was the same thing with Dirt, you know what I'm saying? Like it was a it was a great road and it's still a great road like we still turn. We There's still, a friendship still there, right? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We still family. You know, we still be on the road. We still travel. We still do things. So, um, it's not like it's not there, but I am my own boss of my own situation. I think a lot of us see you grow, and, and, and we yeah. attest to the. You know, we seen you go from Bardito to director Robert. I'm, uh, how do you say the last name? I'm Farah. I'm Farah, right? Yeah. Um, but no, I, I mean, I see the, I, I mean, I rock with you for a minute. I've been a, also a fan since uh, the first uh, few songs I heard, and then we made a connection. And yeah. I seen the growth. I see, I, I also, you also giving me opportunities as well. You know what I'm saying? As well as uh, uh, some good game in this shit. You know what I'm nah, saying? Facts, and, facts. and truth in this shit. You know? Facts, facts. But uh, was it, uh, what did you say, you know what? This is an opportunity that I have, but it's only going to take me so far, and I have bigger dreams, and I need to, instead of being bitter, uh, because uh, maybe Dirk or whoever was in charge of whatever, yeah. you know, uh, ain't do this, and yo, I, you know, you kind of just bossed up, didn't get like some artists do, which get bitter, and then they want to get on the line and say, oh, Dirk ain't shit, or, uh, uh, Fat Joe ain't shit. You know, you know what I mean, though, right? They'll get mad because they feel like they got short chains. And, yeah. But you did a, a, a lot different. You know, yeah. you took opportunity. I, I personally seen you, bro, and, and it amazed me, interests me, to see you jump on a plane from the beginning. Let me drop this dude off. I dropped you off myself at the airport. Yeah. Uh, went to Italy and, and, and seen him go international. You know, that was dope. A dude yeah. from the hood. You know, yeah. get on the plane, oh, plant yeah. some Italian, fly them out there, mm -hmm. and put you on a feature, do a dope video, send them back. Yeah, right after that, right. what he do? <clears throat> he took his ass off. He told me, hey, I'll be back. I'm finna go do some work with Nate Cannon. And I look up, he wrote a whole project for Cannon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got the credits. Yeah. Um, you created them opportunities. Uh, Spike Lee, you did a project. Uh, yeah. You know, you created your... So is that something that you tell these artists, hey, look, don't just uh, rely on the label or maybe do some of these, you know, network with some of these, uh, what kind of game can you give these young artists? They know it's, it's evolved so much, bro. Yeah. Uh, like I said before, consistency, hard work, staying on top of this shit. That's the same thing that they gonna hear all the time, but not even knowing that that's the most important key value. Even learning the business, I was just, I was, Telling y'all that learning the business, knowing about percentages, knowing about your publishing, knowing about admins and um, your royalties, your mechanical royalties. So many people make music but don't get paid. So it's like they just they, they get like small checks. But it be money out there. You just don't know how to capture your shit. You know what I'm saying? And then it's on contracts too. Watch what you doing. Watch what you uh, signing. The game is different now. You gotta understand, when I first got my deal, we was on CDs in stores. You go to Best Buy, get the motherfucking CD. Um, it's not like that no more. So you can really be your own boss and do your own thing. You don't really, unless you just have no connections. And if you have no connections, it's one of them situations where I was that person where I knew people, but Dirk was my big connection. Dirk took a liking into me. I right, I'm finna push him. I'm gonna fuck with him. I'm finna sign him. I'm the first OTF artist. So, um, I wouldn't, I don't want to use the word stepping stone just because that's my brother. We, we still, I talked to him today, we still talk about ideas and creations and uh, music, movies, uh, future plans. Think music is just not the final destination for a nigga. You know what I'm saying? So. My advice would be like, just don't listen to nobody. Do you? I just put this on Facebook or some shit. I was like, never wait. You know what I'm saying? Don't wait on nobody. If you wait on a the motherfucker, they, they might be procrastinators themselves. So they gonna hold you back from what you trying to do. It's just, you have to just go do that shit. When I did the movie shit, I ain't, I didn't know nothing about film. I ain't know nothing about making movies. I ain't know nothing. I just knew in my mind, I saw the motherfucker already. So I'm like, I'm finna film this. It's not, um, 
it's not something I went to school for or studied or no, I just I felt like I had that type of talent and that just happened for certain people. So you just never know when you the one and you never know when you special. You just gotta do this shit. You feel me? So um that's my advice to them. Big ups, man, you just dropped the film. Primary position mm -hmm. available on Prime. Yeah. Uh you got something else to get you ready to drop on movie side? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're working on some shit. I ain't gonna talk about it right okay, now. But, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's something in the works. All right, for sure. Definitely. Work. Okay, we ain't talking about it. It's, <laughs> top, it's top motherfucking secret. Nah, you guys got an EP dropping, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Forever Legend album. We're working on that right now. This D Mob, Coco, Ersum, Mob. That's my boy Flamo. And, um, what can we expect from them? Shit, some raw shit. Yeah, they could they could talk y'all can see. <laughs> what you got for us, Mar? I just feel like we just gonna come different. When I say different, I mean though we just we gonna be talking though, you know what I'm saying? So it's like we just gonna talk how we talk, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing really like a lot to say about it, it's just it's real different though, you know what I'm saying? So that sound? Yeah, you know, we we bringing that sound, you know what I'm saying? That official forever legend sound. It's nothing like nobody else sounds, so it's like they gonna enjoy it, you know. Right. That's right, I got the track. Coco, it's been long enough. The wait is over? Yeah, man. The wait <laughs> definitely over, man. We Never broke see. again. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, we came a long way, but you know what I'm saying? We definitely got something in the works, man. Super hot. I'm coming different. Uh, I got we some coming right after the EP, too, so y'all come look out for that, too. So we've been busy on this side. D Ma, yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, it's good to see you stay positive. Uh, rest in peace. I know you lost your brother not long sure, ago. Sure. Rest in peace, Josh. And uh, what can we expect from D Ma? What you got? What you got busted for? Man, Forever Legend Project. We focus on right now, man. It's a bunch of energy. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of good musicians, a lot of good, you know what I'm saying, rappers in this going crazy. These are my brothers right here. Sure. When I tell you it's real authenticity in here, we're going crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? The sound is so different. It's a vibe for real. Man, I can't wait. I'm excited. Hey, man, what you got going on, bro? You been doing the comedy shit or what, bro? Man. Give it to him, man. Give it to him. Man. Yeah. Doing the comedy thing. And um, hey, just having fun with it, helping people laugh, have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm about. Yeah. <laughs> 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 best, man. <laughs> 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 uh, I do have to ask you, transitioning <coughs> from an artist to standing behind the camera writing for, um, some of these movies uh, and other projects that you're writing, mm -hmm. that you bring them to life and uh, doing this 50 cent shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, what was that transition like, bro? Smooth. It was smooth to me. I was already directing videos. So when I do my videos, I direct my own videos. Um, I edit my own videos. So I don't, I'm not sitting there touching that shit. But I'm sitting there like piece by piece, um, just explaining what I want and what I was, what I see. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't hard. That's the only thing that really gave me the motivation. Like shit, I could already really do this shit. You feel me? So yeah, yeah, it was it was smooth for me. It wasn't it wasn't bumpy. It wasn't hard. It was fun. It was something that I wanted to accomplish that I did accomplish. And shit, it felt good. You know what I'm saying? Can we expect a lot more film? Yeah, yeah. Film, Who? film, definitely. Uh, something that I'm doing right now. Who's some of your favorite uh, film directors? Your motivation? Spike Lee. Spike. Yeah, Spike Lee. Um, and the reason, shit, the reason why it was Spike just because I came up watching his movies. You know what I'm saying? And building a connection with him, fucking with him, locking in with him, talking to him, getting advice from him. Um, that's what really motivated a motherfucker to really do it. You know, I was trying to pitch the movie to Spike. And um, he was just like, do it yourself. Uh, we in a time where you can do it yourself. So, 
Yeah, I just I start working on getting the shit going like the next day. So yeah, I always uh fuck with Spike for those for those type of moments, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. That that's really it for me. I do gotta ask you, cause you really really a, a hard critic on music. You know what I'm saying? What do you think about some of these new females, man, that we got like way up uh, on a pedestal? Uh, I, I go out of the show here, right? I, I throw three names out there. I just want you to tell me what the fuck you think. You can say no comment, all that shit. Number one name, Sexy Red. <laughs> um, young, turn, ratchet, lit, different. Shit. I don't know, man. It's, you know. Well, I don't know. Shout out to Sexy Red. I love Sexy Red. I ain't gonna lie, sir. We were just talking about that. Who said they have cracked Sexy Red? Who said that? That's something. You got you, one, man. We're gonna stay on the females then. Uh, what do you think about Benzino's daughter? What's her name? Uh, Court. 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 That's my bad. I love her too. Oh, I love her. I fuck with Court. No. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, yeah. Okay. She okay, I'm gonna give you last female. I gotta, I gotta make a controversial one. Chris Shaw. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Chris Shaw, what you think about Chris Shaw, dude? And all the drama and also the tablet. You know her, her, her she does music. Yeah. What do you think about her and everything? You know. My thing. I don't want to judge her to the, to, you know, I'm, I'm the type of motherfucker, I might end up working with her, you know what I'm saying? I might end up, you know what I'm saying, seeing her come across or be cool with her or some shit. So I don't want to just say crazy shit, but just not my cup of tea at the moment. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Okay. Here, what we got dropping with the guys right now, this month, what we got dropping? Uh, more or soon, same. soon more, you yeah, said soon. Yeah, we yeah. at the end of the month. Yeah, we at the end of the month. <laughs> What's the name of the joint? We have, uh, more than a chain. More than a chain. Forever legend, baby. Hypno so, Carlito. So, and the whole motherfucking game. Yeah. Nigga, where your black ass stop that sneak this and leave a nigga out back, cock back, nigga tweaking with me, day is not that. I'm back, rolling niggas up, I need a five pack. All facts, these niggas rats, where the cops at, bitch bad, she a send a load, where you drop at, niggas fast, gon' let them know their favorite op back. Smoking lead away, new op pack.